I want to make what I think is the most important closing argument to make. I've been into about uh, 30, 31 districts, or th 31 places, going a, a bunch between now and uh, now and the election day. And uh, you know, I can't think of a more consequential election that uh, I've been involved in and we've been involved in. You know, whether we uh, maintain control of the Senate and the House is a big deal. And uh, so far, we're running against the tide, and we're beating the tide. But we just have 15 days until one of the most important elections in our lifetime. And it's going to shape the way this country looks like for the coming decade, for real. Now the polls have been all over the place. First of all, if you speak to most pollsters, they're not sure anymore, not about the outcome, but about polling. No, I'm not being facetious. It's awful hard to do it these days. It's awful hard to do it these days. Republicans ahead, Democrats ahead, Republicans ahead. But it's going to close, I think, with seeing uh, one more shift. Democrats ahead in the closing day. <laughs> the last couple of weeks, I don't pay attention to anything having to do with the polls. I just pay attention to what's happened on the phone and we're knocking on doors. I'm here to deliver what I believe is a closing argument about what we need to do in the next 15 days to make a victory assured and make it clear that this election is a referendum. It's not a referendum, I should say. It's a choice. Everybody wants to make it a referendum, but it's a choice between two vastly different visions for America, significantly different. Democrats are building a better America for everyone, with an economy that grows from the bottom up and the middle out where everyone does well. Republicans are doubling down on their mega mega trickle down economics that benefits the very wealthy, failed the country before, and will fail it again if they wouldn't. 